Welcome to our news updates. Former President Donald Trump said Wednesday he would not sign the Pledge of Allegiance required by the Republican National Committee to attend the first GOP debate this month. Before we continue, please support us by clicking on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell for more updates. During an interview with Newsmax, Trump said he disagreed with a specific commitment clause that led the candidate to back a potential Republican nominee. I would not sign the oath, Trump told moderator Eric Bowling. They want you to sign the pledge, but I can nominate three or four people that I wouldn't endorse for president. So here's the problem. Trump declined to nominate candidates he would not endorse, but criticized both former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who he said would ask me nasty questions. Both former governors have been harsh critics of Republican Party leader Trump in the polls. During the interview, Trump also said he would announce next week whether he would attend the August session. December 23 in Milwaukee, although refusing to sign the Oath of Allegiance would prevent him from meeting RNC criteria. The Pledge of Allegiance also requires candidates to agree not to participate in non-RNC sanctioned debates for the remainder of the election cycle. The RNC asked shortlisted candidates to give their commitment and approval no later than 48 hours before the first debate. Trump, Christie, and Hutchinson are among at least eight candidates who appear to have met the donor and polling thresholds required to participate in the debates. Former Vice President Mike Pence became the youngest candidate to announce he qualified for the debate, which will be moderated by Fox News. Thanks for watching. Let us know your view in the comments section.